So if you make a garden every year, one thing, if you grow zucchini and squash, but uh, zucchini some, for some reason comes to mind more for me, I guess because we like to fry squash and eat it that way. Anyway, what often happens is you have an abundance of zucchini. Of course, you can make wonderful pickles. You can I like to dry them for future use, like throwing them. Um, they kind of disintegrate, but it's still wonderful to throw some dried ones into a soup that you're making in the winter time. Kind of adds some body to it, even though they, they do kind of cook up on you just like fresh ones do. Another great way other than the pickles and the drying is I like to shred mine and I freeze that shredded um, zucchini so that I can make cakes in the winter time. That's a good thing to do with it. But one of the recipes that I love to make with zucchini I'm going to share with you today is a zucchini bread but it's kind of different than the one that Granny makes it which I really love. That one's really popular, really common. Um, I'm sure it is where you're at too, where it's got nuts and zucchini, kind of puts you in mind of banana bread, but I like it a whole lot better than banana bread. But the one I'm going to make today is a chocolate zucchini bread, and it's really good and really easy and quick to whip up too. So first I'm going to go over the ingredients with you. So you're going to need three eggs, a cup of oil. Now you use whatever kind of oil you usually use, whether it's vegetable or uh, you know, canola or even olive oil. Olive oil would have a, uh, uh, add a taste to it, but if you like that taste, you that might be okay too. Coconut oil, that works really well too, but whatever oil you like, a cup. A cup of sugar, one fourth cup of honey, one tablespoon of vanilla, two cups of zucchini, finely shredded. Now when you shred your zucchini, like I don't mind if there's pieces still left in the cake, that doesn't bother me. But if you really, if that bothers you and you want it to, because of a texture issue, and you want it to really, really just cook and disappear, then you would need to shred it very, very finely. Two and two thirds cup of flour, one half cup of sweetened, uh, unsweetened, sorry, one half cup of cocoa powder is what I was trying to say, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're just going to mix all that together. We're going to cook it at 350 for about 25 minutes or till done. And it makes one loaf pan. That's what I'm making is one loaf pan. So now I'm just going to start mixing that up. So first I'm going to mix my eggs, put them together, my oil, the sugar, the vanilla, and the honey. Now we're going to just mix that together. Okay, now that we've got that mixed well, we're going to add in our zucchini. And I'm going to trade utensils because my the zucchini will get all hung up in the whisk. looks pretty. Those bits of green smells great. So now that that's done, I'm going to add all my dry ingredients to this bowl and just whisk them together. There's the flour, cinnamon, the salt and baking soda and baking powder, and the cocoa. gonna just mix it all together. It's one reason I love it. This is a really, uh, you know, like a dessert bread, a really sweet dessert. Um, and I love using the zucchini in it, but I love how easy it is too that you don't have to pull out a, a mixer. Okay, now we're ready to put it in the pan. So you can grease your loaf pan. Uh, I like to use parchment paper just because I think it's easy to pull it out, but either one works, works well. I've done it both ways. Now 
Now, if you want to add a little extra pizzazz to it, which I don't do hardly ever, I just do it like this, but you can add, let me grab, you can add some, um, add some chocolate chips to the top. Just sprinkle them around there, just for a little added bit. And then you can also take some really coarse sugar and kind of sprinkle it on top to give it a little crunch. And that's not necessary, neither one of these. It just adds a little something to it. So now I'm going to put it in the oven, and once it's baked, I will show you how tasty it is. So I got the cake out of the oven, and you can see how pretty those little studded putting the chocolate chips looks. And it did crack, but I never worry about how things look. I just worry about how they taste. So now we've got to find out how it's going to taste. Because of that zucchini, it is very moist on the inside. You can see just slightly right there is a little piece of zucchini. So again, you can, if it bothers you, you could really, you know, chop them up really well. It doesn't bother me though. So now I'm going to have to get a taste. Mm. I need a glass of milk to go with it. I should have got me some milk. Mm. Very soft and moist on the inside because of that zucchini. And so tasty. You can barely taste the little hint of cinnamon, but mostly you taste the chocolate. It is really good. I think it would be it, uh, good. I've never tried it like this. We just eat it as a dessert, but I think it'd be good if you sliced it and toasted it toasted it a little bit and then put some cream cheese on it. Mm. Now when I was telling you how to make it, the first part of the video, while I was cooking it, I realized I told you something wrong. I said it needs to bake for 25 minutes. I don't know how I got that in my mind, what I was thinking about. But then and I actually, when I put it in the oven to bake, I actually put my little timer on 25 minutes. I had it really in my mind. And then I checked in 25 minutes and it was still really runny. And I was like, what? What's, what's going on here? I went back and looked at the recipe. It's for an hour. I thought, how did I get 25 mi minutes in my mind? I knew that. I knew it was an hour. So disregard the 25 minutes. It takes an hour in my oven. It might take slightly longer in yours or slightly less. You'll just have to keep an eye on it. But whether you decide to eat it like we do, just plain like this with a uh, after supper with a glass of milk or for a snack, or if you do try the toasted cream cheese, it's really good and I hope you try it. It's a great way to use up some of that summer bounty of zucchini. I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make this chocolate zucchini cake. And as always, I hope you continue to drop back by and help me celebrate Appalachia.